Today I got my five top medicine ball exercises for golfers. It doesn't matter which kind of medicine ball you have, they come in all different shapes and sizes. These five exercises are going to work perfectly with any of them. You have some that are bigger, but they may be lighter and they bounce pretty well. You have some that are smaller, but they're heavier and they don't, when you throw them, they don't bounce, they just stop. And then we have another one that's a little bit smaller, but it, it bounces a lot higher. So it doesn't matter which one you have, these five exercises are going to be great for your golf game. When it comes to using medicine balls for your golf game, we want to make sure that we work on a few different specific things. We're going to work on rotation mainly, we're going to work on stability, one part of the body moving while the other part's not, so the medicine ball is going to try and move you and you have to resist it from moving. And then we're going to work on some slams, and then if you have the capability of doing some throws, I'll show you a throwing exercise that's great for your golf game. So first thing we're going to do, nice and simple, is you're going to get into a golf posture with your hands on the ball. I recommend anywhere between a 6 to 10 pound medicine ball for most. We don't want a ton of weight and we don't want it to be too light as well. So we're going to get into golf posture. On this one, we're going to make sure that the lower body stays stable, that it doesn't move at all. And you're going to slowly work on range of motion as far as you can go, staying in your golf posture, turning back and forth with the ball, and making sure that that lower body stays stable, stomach's tight, and you're in your posture. We're going to do 20 to 25 each way. With medicine balls, a lot of times the repetitions, high repetitions, will, will make sure you get in that core and, that, and the lower body exercises. So we're going back and forth. We're going to go long for 20 to 25, and then we're just going to go toe to toe, back and forth, keeping that stomach tight. That's going to really help your lower body stability and get you that core work that you need to hit bombs. All right, so this one is for the complete body, and I'm going to show you two different, one for beginners, one for more advanced. What we're going to do is you're going to lunge with a twist. So you're going to lunge forward, twist, and try and keep your upper body turning as far as you can, keep your lower body stable. So you're going to lunge forward, and then you're going to rotate over the front leg. You want to rotate over the front leg. That's going to make sure that your lower body stays stable. That's a beginner exercise. It's nice and easy. Keep your knee behind your toe. That's a great one. For more advanced, and if you have a ball that slams, you're going to go forward, and then as you go forward, you're going to slam it to the side, come back up, lift, slam. So you're going back and forth, slamming the ball. And what this does is it gives you resistance, and then you get rid of the resistance. So your lower body really has to react and make sure you stay stable, just like you do in your golf swing. All right, on this one, I'm going to use the non-bounce ball. And if you have a ball that bounces, it's actually going to be easier for you. And this one's going to get your heart rate up, and it's going to work on your lateral movement. So what we're going to do, we're going to start in golf posture. You're going to take the ball up and over and slam it on the side. If it bounces, you can just pick it up and set it back down. And then you're going to hop. You're going to hop to the other side. You're going to reach down, grab, and then slam it back that way. And then hop, reach, slam. So you're going back and forth, working on that lateral motion, back and forth. Up, and oh, whoa, snap. Up and over. Make sure that you have a good surface to slam it down on. Let me show you real quick what that would look like if you have a ball that bounces. So we're going to go up and over, put it down, hop, up and over, down, hop, up and over, up in the back. So what you're working on is you're really working on your legs, you're working on your lateral stability, and a little bit of functionality in your upper body. So it's a great one to get your heart rate elevated and a w another one to get you moving faster. I love to use medicine balls to create power for my clients. So a great power exercise is to learn how to use the legs more because so many golfers don't use their legs in the golf swing. What you're going to do is you're going to hold on. I got a little bit heavier one. You could do it with any weight. This is a 10 pound ball. So and you probably want to do this outside. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold it against your chest. You're going to squat down butt back, knees behind the toes, and then you're going to jump up and push. You can choose to catch the ball if you want, or you could just let it bounce. You're going to squat down, jump up, push as high as you can throw it, as long as you have the room. So what you want to make sure with this one is slow motion is going to be down, legs, 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 and then arms. So it's legs first and then arms. So you want to make sure you're not going to get much power if you go, if you try and throw it with your arms first. Just like in the golf swing, you got to keep the lower body active and use that 
using the ground for power. So just pushing it straight up as high as you can. Great exercise for more lower body power. So you remember that first one, we were going side to side. On this one, we're going to do, I call it the hay balers. Growing up in Indiana, we used to bale a lot of hay. So what we're going to do here, and this is a great one to help you to learn to low, again, learn what your lower body does in the swing. So you're going to come down here with the ball, right-handed golfers. We're going to do it both ways anyway. So you're going to come down here, hips are going to go first, then you're going to come up and stop. So back down, hips, up and stop. So you want to, like you're going to throw it, but then you got to put on the brakes. This is a great exercise to help you develop the proper sequencing in the swing, as well as getting that lower body for the power. We always want to do both sides. So we're going back, up. You're going to notice that the hips are going to match the path of the ball. So we're going back and then up, putting on the brakes. Back, up, putting on the brakes. You might move around a little bit, but you want to move around the least that you can. So I've seen people do it and they're, they're all over the place if they don't have that stability or that mobility to do it. But this exercise will definitely help you to feel that sequencing and get the ball slash club on the correct path. All right, I know I said five exercises, but here's that one bonus. If you do have a wall or a surface to throw the medicine ball against, Here's three great exercises for you. Number one, start with your feet together. As you go back, you're gonna step forward. And then you're gonna throw as fast and as hard as you can if your wall can hold it. So you're gonna go back, step, throw. It's a great exercise to get the lower body moving faster and first. Second one, put the left leg or the inside leg toward forward in the lunge position. And you don't have to go that deep here. All we're doing is really stabilizing this left side. And then we're gonna throw. Same way, we're just gonna throw, try and turn into that left leg, make sure you're not falling over. You may fall over the first couple times, but that's really gonna help you to get in that lead leg on the downswing. Third one, we're gonna go down to our knees. Now we're taking the lower body out. I know I do a lot of stuff that preaches lower body, do more lower body. This one, we're gonna keep the lower body stable, and all we're gonna do is turn and throw. So now all that power is coming from the core Still the glutes, but we're really working on that core power. Again, nice same path as you would a golf club. That's your bonus if you do have a wall or something or someone very strong to catch it. All right, there's your top five plus a bonus medicine ball exercises for your golf game. For more videos, like and subscribe this one and we'll send you some more.